The developed nations are having the responsibility to give 100 billion US dollar to the developing nations. It is all for the climate mitigation and adaptation measures. But my question is, has this fund been given? And what about India? Has it received all these funds? If you want to know answer for these questions, do watch this video continuously. We have to start with a little bit of history. See, when we compare the cumulative carbon dioxide emissions of both the developed countries and the developing countries, we can see a stark difference. This difference is due to the difference in the start of industrialization between the two blocks. While industrialization started in the 19th century in the Western European countries and the United States, it took another 100 years to start in countries like India and China. Here note that industrialization didn't even start in many of the sub-Saharan countries. See, I am saying this till date, okay? But the issue of greenhouse gas emissions and the subsequent effect on the environment are affecting the whole mankind, am I right? This is where the issue of climate financing takes central stage. So now, let's see the meaning of the term climate financing. Climate finance refers to local, national or transnational financing drawn from both public and private that seeks to support mitigation and adaptation actions that will address the climate change. Okay, so this is what we are terming as climate finance. Here note that the developing countries are asking for climate finance from the developed countries due to the historical emission gap between the two blocks. See, just now I explained the gap. Am I right? So, because of this only, developing countries are expecting from the developed countries. And due to this, in the COP21, that is the Conference of Parties 21, which was held in Paris, the developed countries agreed to provide $100 billion every year by the year 2020 to the developing countries. This is to help them undergo transition from fossil-based energy to green energy. So this is all about the history of climate financing that you have to know. And now the Western countries led by US are trying to shift the burden to private finance from the public finance. Here note that public finance refers to the funding provided by the government. See what the developing countries have for a long time insisted is that a significant portion of the climate finance should come from the public funds. Why are they doing so? Because private finance will not be enough to address their needs and priorities. That is why developing countries are insisting for public finance. Here the author presents even the data from various sources to show that both the public and the private finance are falling short of the $100 billion pledge to be provided by the developed countries to the developing countries. Finally, the blended financing model, that is with the private financing, is not apt for the needs of the developing countries. See, the reason stated is that the vulnerable, debt-ridden and low-income countries with poor credit ratings are in need of climate finance. So, they find it challenging to access the private finance. See, because they are already vulnerable and debt-ridden, how far they can reach to the private finance? This is a question mark, right? So, therefore, addressing the urgent climate finance needs of the developing countries cannot be left to the mercy of the false promises of trillions of US dollars in mobilized private climate finance. Okay. A major role should be played by grant-based and concessional international public climate finance. So, this is to address the needs and the priorities of the developing countries. Now, before ending our discussion, let's see some important points relating to climate finance and India. See, India is planning to raise private finance in climate change related industries in India. This is being done through Climate Finance Initiative. See, Climate Finance Initiative is functioning with an aim of building the early stage ecosystem in India for climate startups. And apart from this, India also wants a concrete plan for accessing the public finance from the developed countries. And this is from the $100 billion fund. So, this is about the India stand on climate finance. So, in this video, we saw what is climate finance and we saw what are the obligations or what is the responsibility that the developed nations are having towards the developing nations when we talk about the climate finance.
also we saw india's perspective in this okay and if you want to watch more such environment related topics do watch our hindu newspaper analysis regularly